your prayer can become your protocol it waits for you at the gates of your tomorrow it checks that tomorrow is ready for you and it if if it finds anything your tomorrow that can sabotage the name of god in your life it can the hearing ear listen access to the voice of god is one of the mysterious riches of the kingdom the bible says he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit say yet the spirit saith the bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times are we together now some shall depart from the faith he says giving heed to seducing spirits and the doctrines of demons in the the spirit speaketh expressly that means one of the greatest you are at a point of advantage the hearing ear has nothing to do with the prophetic office it is a grace that god washes your your ear with high eyesight so that you have the hearing ear is it not in your bible that thou shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way why because there is a way that seemeth right if all ways were fair and right there would be no need for direction the hearing ear is a desperate prayer that everyone must cry unto God and say, Lord, as I'm starting ministry, give me the ear that hears. Let me tell you this. Listen, I have studied the church in Nigeria for many years. I have studied the church in Africa. I have studied men and women of God and respectfully so. I am amazed at the way people move this way when the Holy Ghost moved that way and their ministries ended overnight not sin not disobedience but but that the spirit of god is going because the anointing goes where the spirit is going wherever the voice of god is that's where his power is so if god's voice and power is going left and you are going right even if it's sincerely so that's the end of it my brothers and my sisters let me tell you your spiritual investment of 20 years can crash in one day if you are not given the gift of a hearing ear you will appreciate this in years to come the higher you rise in ministry the more desperate you must cry moses said don't send us from here moses was not a fool with a rod in his hand thy rod and thy staff he said no way if you will know i need to know you are there just because god said move left yesterday does not mean you will say move left today you must hear him part time and there is a grace i have studied this subject of hearing god properly i can tell you hearing god even prophets have problem with hearing god let me tell you something about hearing god the gift of prophecy the hearing that comes to prophesy is not the same hearing that comes to give you direction you can walk in accuracy i can look at your name call your number call everything and you will be surprised how stranded you will be to hear the voice of god most people don't know because many people are, are prophesying nonsense and lies the hearing ear i i have a lot of friends and 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 by god's grace i've met very powerful and accurate prophets and you will be amazed at how stranded they are waiting for god to speak on matters in their lives and yet the accuracy that comes from them makes you be you believe that oh they are just lying down no where was the hearing of the son of the prophet who died and his wife was about to be taken the children were about to be taken the man was a prophet read your bible and see how many prophets were stranded be careful let me tell you this one day i will teach you how human beings spiritually are like machines i will teach you how god works with men 
so that just because a man is prophesying and dispensing mysteries let me tell you sincerely okay let, let's put it this way let's use midwives right have you noticed that you can see a midwife who has been giving birth helping people give birth for years and then when she when she is now pregnant you can be so surprised at the difficulty that she goes through and you are wondering madam with this experience right after her giving birth that almost took her life she will display that mastery again in the hospital prophets cry it's amazing how confused prophets can be i will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower listen and i will hear what you will say unto me read your bible and see people who missed very vital seasons in their lives although their gifts and their graces were still there when i learned this i learned this mystery from dr dk olukoya I was listening to him some years ago and he said something he said that one of the greatest prayer you can pray is for a, for a hearing ear and i said what is the meaning of that and you see if god helps you and you walk in a dimension of these graces you must be careful because most times we see the flamboyancy on the gift and you can join men even to deceive yourself that just because that gift that prophetic operation is at work it necessarily means you yourself are accurate it's not true have you not seen people dying of infirmity and healing others what is the mystery behind it if, if you understand what i'm this thing is a very deep teaching that's why the bible says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling one of the unsearchable riches of Christ is a grace that can be given to men that you hear the sounds of the spirit spirit you stand and watch and say I've heard him God is saying go left and everybody is saying go right use common sense you know you have God when you move left after five years people look at you I have seen a bit of what hearing God can do this ministry today my brothers and my sisters is proof that when men get these unsearchable riches you won't go down i'm not one person who comes all the time and say god said god said i'm very careful now we have especially we young people we have abused god said anybody just comes and says god said just because you felt like god said no or just because you were under the anointing and your mouth was talking there are tongues of men there are tongues of angels there is the voice of God. Are you getting what I'm saying now? This is very powerful. You must learn it. There are times when I hear God speak. Everyone around me knows God has said. The voice of God comes with the spirit of faith. If it is God that you hear, the voice of God will always come with the spirit of faith. And the Spirit entered me when He spake unto me. It's impossible to hear God and remain and sit down there. No. Here and there you can think you had God and He said, go to Kano. You can say, I know I had Kano. But tomorrow you just turn. But you know, God is very faithful. He will allow you. He knows we are students in the school of the Spirit. Just keep playing around. But the day His majestic voice lands on your life, there is no power that can stop you. Let me tell you. God is not always speaking. God speaks, but he's not always speaking. A lot of people keep say God is always speaking, speaking. No, sir. Are you always talking? At least you were created in his image. No. In the fifth day of the sixth month, the word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord came. I've had occasions where God has spoken to me and you have seen it even some of the messages there are messages here that god gave me the titles and i was i've been surprised at how they seem to have carried an unusual grace because god said it 
I stand here many times and I tell you this is what God is saying. And then you begin to see the strange things that he is doing. Let's be careful with this God said. Let's not reduce God to become a man. Now, it doesn't mean that you can hear things. There is the knowing of the spirit. There is the witness of the spirit. They all look like voices. You have to be very deep in the spirit, the spirit to separate between impulses and speakings. They are very different. Just because you had a spiritual communication does not mean God spoke. Remember that in the realm of the spirit, the voice is not the only way to speak. Light is a way of communicating. Love is a language. It can speak. So I can hear. That's the reason why regardless of how sure you think you are, stay for verification. When God spoke about Koinonia to start three days, we had set up the departments. God has granted us grace. I remember, if you remember that time, I was telling you God told me this and that and that. People will come from nations and people. This is what God said. I remember saying it that time. As at the time I said it, I said I saw CGC. This is not what I saw. I saw it broken, expanded. What is this that I'm seeing? I saw, I saw people standing, parking, filling the roads. And no, as usual, every time you said God said, you need grace yourself to believe it. Because there are times that you just sit and say, okay, now I'm calm. It's like you, you smoke, uh, 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 what they call this thing. And so you went high and to you, you can even say, look at the nonsense that I said. And you listen to your own message and say, hi, hey, it's not exactly God. And God said, what are you saying? I'm the one speaking. We were preparing to start packaging our messages. I was thanking God and trusting and blessing him for the anointing he had given me. And just saying, oh God, thank you because you are going to use our media ministry as a very major stream of income to bless the ministry and lift us. And here comes the voice of God. No. In this season, you are not going to sell your messages. Facebook, that time, it was, I mean, it was even the first head of media's Facebook page. And he said, just carry your messages and put them on MP3, put them on Facebook. Don't put the videos, just the audios. And I will give it wings and it will go to the nations of the earth. That's it. My brothers and my sisters, when God says, sit back and watch the power that created the universe push things in your life. There are things God has said. Listen to me. There are things God has said. When God talks, notice that God doesn't care what you are seeing. He tells you what you will do and he will do it. So I stand upon my watch. I'm not in a hurry to move. God, what are you saying in this season? That's the reason why we have workers retreats. That's why we have our own retreats. A few weeks now, I'm going to start my end of year retreat. I'm telling you, you don't know how excited I am, I am at that time. Because many of you have gone, no disturbances. I just shut my phone. And sometimes you need to get out of the busyness of life to hear God. Because there is, as it were, many voices, many sounds, and none of them is without significance. The voice of house rent can interrupt what God is saying. This spiritual haziness has a science. The encumbrances of life can push you, your child's school fees, your life. And God is saying, fast for three days. I say, is it God? Is it a demon? Is it? Yes, there are times that you check against the word of God. But let me tell you, there are times only God will help you. Because even you, you don't know whether this is God again. Most people are not spiritual enough to get to this realm. That's why they don't understand. Years ago, I've shared with you the story. I had limited transport fare from Kaduna back to Zaria. And I took initiative and I went and ate yam and beans also with the money. I mean, why sit here till we die? Remember the four lepers. At least I should do one. I already know that it's only God that will know how to take me back home. And I believed with all my heart that I was acting by faith. And I did. And I stood in front of 
of the junction near Waek office in Kaduna. And a car just stopped and the Holy Spirit told me enter. Public transport. Oh. I told you the voice of God comes with the spirit of faith. It's until the act has been done when you turn back on hindsight. You say it has to be God who led me like this. When you, are, when you are passing through it, you don't see the gravity of the faith you are exerting. It's when you look back and say, eh. I entered that car. I was just in rest. Rest. You are supposed to be afraid. You know how some of these our brothers are around and all of that. Until we pass Jaji. I knew there was no hope. You know, if it's 10 naira, you don't have, or 20 naira, you can beg. But I mean, when you don't even have up to 20 or 30 percent of what is the transport fare, and then they now said, Everybody bring your money, and people were bringing them. But my God is my witness, my heart was at peace. This is what happens when it's God that is speaking. You leave Him to be responsible for the word. I just obeyed. And that was how someone brought up, paid my transport fare. I dropped at flyover here, entered the bus happy because I felt at least whatever it is, this one I'll pay. And someone knew me in the car and paid. I stopped in front of Northgate with the same money I was with there. It was a message. God was saying, look, I am God by myself. I can do it anyhow. There are times I can send the helper to give you money. There are times I say the helper is in the car. Enter and meet him there. It doesn't matter where the helper is. Believe God enough to go. There are times he parts the waters. There are times he says walk on it. Let it just be that he sees him. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You will need this for ministry. When God sent us to go for our crusade, we got up and moved like madmen. What you see today, my brothers and my sisters, is a product of the voice of God. You need the grace to hear God, not grace for prophecy. Lord, let me hear you. you, 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 you look, you can pray and say, God, search my frail person. What is the most accurate spiritual mechanism of communicating your voice to me? Help me in that area. There are some of you that your hearing, you have not trained your hearing. If you, if God speaks through your ears, you will not hear. And so you are going to say, Lord, give me a kind of dream that I will wake up and find myself standing. I will know that this one was not a dream. Let me tell you, if your heart is right, God will give you. There are dreams that no devil can tell you in your mind. Mind? How many of you have had what we call prophetic dreams? You know this one. Is not my mind. This is the voice of God. Unsearchable riches. The hearing ear. The seeing eye. One time. The storm was boisterous. I think it was Peter or Paul. And it was very obvious they were going to capsize. And all of a sudden. The hearing ear. And the seeing eye. An angel appears to him and speaks to him and says, don't worry, there shall be no loss. And he calmed the people down and said, hey, relax. An angel has appeared to me and he has said to me that there shall be no loss. And the Bible says that the storm calmed down and they went safely and arrived at an island called Melita. When you hear God, you can sit in the midst of fire and be singing. And people are saying, excuse me, sir, this is fire. You say, no, I'm sitting on the voice of God. Mm. Roasting someone by your left, roasting another person by your right, and acting as if the fire is not seeing you. Sooner or later, you will need this, this message. Sooner or later, you will carry destinies. Come, darling. You will carry destinies that are behind you and you will need to hear God on behalf of them. One day you will have children. One day you will have grandchildren. And that day, this spiritual blessing will be tested. One day you will be a man of God with a crowd of people. Now all of you are waiting for the prophetic word next year. 
whether i tell lies or not you will believe it's left for me and god and if i lie you will punish me are you seeing how risky it is many of you say we are praying for you but you know you are not even serious about what you are saying because you are saying apostle the god that called you how you have been hearing him before let him help you just make sure you hear well for us you share wrongly as a man of god for members and see the way their lives they will obey you against god just because you are fasting for a long time does not mean that your ears will hear it is a grace like earphone god will just put that spiritual earphone and start dictating this is how 2019 will be do this do that do this do that and you say god but like like Eliab, this is good and god says that's exactly the strategy satan wants to use next year use this route and you come out and you say people we are ready to go and they look at you and say ah just like that and god says don't mind them that's always how that's how the nation of israel was that's why moses was angry because he would suffer and hear god and come and talk to them and they would doubt husband please learn to hear god for your wife and your children otherwise one day god will be saying move left and you come with your degree and masters and phd nothing wrong you move left until life changes you in one position position change your wife change the destiny of your children many of us sitting down here if our parents had god you shouldn't be at this level is that true there are a number of us who are going to pray many of us who are victims of the lack of hearing many of our parents were called into ministry they ran away not hearing and the blessing that would have come to us if they obeyed god it would have been easy you would have been born again since four years but their disobedience now you got born again at 31 look how hard it is for you to learn the things of the kingdom the hearing ear is a grace man of god please whatever you will do with god i don't care what is not going on in your life if you can hear god hear god on who to marry hello hear god on who to marry you if god planned four children and you give birth to seven you will take care of four he supplies he supplies follow his voice i know you think i'm laughing this is how our lack of spirituality has cheated people in the world before kings went for war they would inquire of the lord is it in your bible shall we go and god will say go and give them the strategy we have lost this in our generation so we just step out and and life just beats us into nonsense what of relocating a place where you want to be domiciled in where your family will be raised in you don't hear god i've told you that when the devil wants to destroy some people he will give them visa visa to germany visa to europe just because the interview was easy doesn't mean it's god there are times that satan can give faith favor to kill you there used to be a guy who used to drive me years ago like maybe four five years ago he was desperate to go to germany i said what is it for i got to find out that he did one funny arranging thing where you do some kind of marriage with somebody there on contract then you come prepare papers and then fight divorce and then from there you have your papers and i don't know where that guy is now but he's a classic representation of grace to grass there are pastors that started well they kept navigating ministry well mighty men and women with anointing and then something happened in their life they didn't hear correctly or they didn't hear or they went based on the pride that results can bring no matter who you are if you trivialize the voice of god your head must must touch the ground i'm telling you this it doesn't matter what level you get to in life and ministry please hear god as if you are just starting don't say because god has given me this my name is joshua selman god has given me results in ministry if you hear me talk to you like this i know what i'm saying lord should i pursue lord is this your will for me
is this your will for me oh there's one conference that i have many great men and women of god some my friends around within this nation around and sometimes they have innocently felt apostle let's put forth a program let's put forth this and that and that people have come to tell me apostle what are you waiting for it's in the blueprint of the ministry to start sunday services what are you waiting for i remember one prophet of god very powerful prophet of god met me and said what are you waiting for start church and i just looked and said god bless you but this year I can't claim I hear everything, but my goodness, there are things, things this ear can hear. We are going to pray, and when it's time to pray, you are going to cry. If it means you laying hands on your ears to say, Lord, I am reaping the fruit of my not hearing you. It's very clear that my life is the way it is now. Because I'm not hearing you. Are we together? You need to hear God when you begin to hear multiple voices calm down none of them is god let me give you a big secret i don't care what you are trying to hear the moment you are hearing multiple voices shut down none of them is god the majesty and the jealousy of god will not allow you to hear many things his voice is mighty upon the waters when you start hearing many voices rose magdalene mary Janet, shut down, my friend. You are not hearing God. Just shut down. Lord, what is the devil trying to do? You are going to Abuja today. Next tomorrow, you are praying and it's like you saw the map of Kano. And then it's like you now saw London. <clears throat> shut down. Lord, what are you saying? Please hear what I'm, I'm teaching you this based on the word and based on experience. Most people who get into trouble ignore the voice of God consciously somewhere along the journey. This is true for marriage. This is true for jobs. This is true for geographic locations. There are men of God that just stand up and go somewhere and just say, well, after all, I'm, I'm a believer in Christ. I love the Lord. We are going to plant this church here. And they find out they are struggling for a very long time. It was Bishop Oyedeko that was saying how that there was a time that they started the church in ghana living faith was blossoming doing very well and they started the church in ghana and there was so much struggle after like four was it five years or six years or so so the increase was not there and he was struggling everything he said he went there by himself to preach and still nothing worked and he went back and said god what is the problem and god said i am not there and he said shut it down immediately There are some of you from this message tonight you need to go and shut down a lot of things in your life because if you check it you will find out there's nothing wrong if you thought it was god you are a student in the school of the spirit oh i thought this business was god but now i'm hearing this is not god oh. i thought that it was god that said i should start the ministry i remember years ago when my well friends and all of that you know not really close friends who meet me and say apostle with the kind of grace you have start a tv ministry start this i told you about pfn when we had our first crusade pfn was willing to give me pastors and give me an auditorium to say start st start a church we need you be careful not every good thing is god things don't have to be bad for you to leave them sometimes they can be good they are just not god There was a time I was preparing, taking my bath years ago. I had a meeting. I don't know if it was in Kaduna or one of these places. I had prayed, fasted, prepared a powerful message. As, as I was taking my bath, all of a sudden, my peace, I will come to that, will discuss peace. Peace as one of the mysteries in the kingdom to bail men out. The stubbornness of men will not allow them understand how the peace of God works. He said he will speak peace. Peace is a voice. Peace can warn you and say you are landing in hot water. Peace can tell you, man of God, this association you are joining is what will destroy you. Destroy you. It doesn't mean they are fake. It doesn't mean they are not of God. But this association is what will bring down your grace. Man of God, be careful. That's why I told you that these are the systems by which the saints dominate. 
so you can see that you can have a dream and in your dream you saw a mecca dying but in the physical it will never happen because there is a mystery that shields him the dream you saw was the intention of satan but there is a fortification of a mystery you can have a dream and see joshua selman dying in a motor accident and start praying and say hey, so this is how our apostle will die <laughs> i i guarantee you it will remain as a dream you don't know what is covering this man that is standing it's not pride do you know how many times death has tested me oh. make him ma, make him ma, make him unfaithful not faithful with unrighteous mammon who shall commit to your trust the true riches of the kingdom these are the mysteries we do ministry with these are the mysteries by which kings rise and you look at a man and you see the wonder that his life emits and you are saying my god how is this thing working my brothers and my sisters these are the systems paul said me who i am the least of all the apostles was this grace given that i become a communicator of the unsearchable riches i have learned these things and they have helped me they have delivered me from evil that prayer lead us not into temptation but deliver us one hearing from god can deliver you and deliver your children's children our parents went head on some of them were the colleagues of some of the men of god in nigeria today and had they continued hearing god well they would have given us a good footing but the inability to hear i have seen pastors men of god that i knew years ago men of fire and seeing them and their shadows of themselves how can a man's yesterday be better than his tomorrow because of one of these spiritual blessings no wisdom some of us have lost destiny helpers that can change our lives because of the wisdom to be given to navigate friendship are you ready to pray tonight